Well, I've just about finished these two paintings. These are two encaustic paintings that I'm doing for a client in New York City. The last thing I need to do is put an edge around the painting. And what I use on these encaustic paintings is an aluminum edge. And this is just a piece of aluminum that you can get at almost any hardware store or your home store. And it's an eighth of an inch uh, thick by, I guess that's wide, by an inch and a half deep. And you can buy it in eight foot lanes or six foot lanes. These pieces are 23 and a quarter inches square. So an eight foot piece of aluminum works well to frame the entire painting. Okay, so I have the bottom and the top of the strip of aluminum on the painting. And once I have the bottom and top on, then I'll measure for the side piece. And I just remembered, I didn't go downstairs and show you how I drill these holes. And I'll do that when I put the pieces on the side. Once I have the strips of aluminum attached to the top and the bottom, then I take my side piece and mark it so it's flush. And the reason why I do that is you're never really looking at a painting from top or bottom. You're usually looking at it from the side or straight on. So this way, you're not seeing any of the uh, end grain, you could call it, of the aluminum coming this way. So then you just see the nice clean edge. So I'll bring this downstairs, cross cut it, and then I'll show you how I drill those holes. I've just finished cutting the sides of the frame to length. And the nice thing about aluminum is it's a soft metal and you can usually cut it with your woodworking tools. Now I'm going to mark my sides bring it over to the drill press and pre-drill my holes. Now I'm going to drill some countersink holes. And the head of my screw is a quarter of an inch, so I've got a drill bit here that's a sixty-fourth of an inch larger than the head of my screw. The other thing is I want to make sure that I don't go all the way through this piece of aluminum. I just want to countersink. Now that I have my holes countersunk, I have to drill through with a smaller hole, and that's the, screw, that's the hole that the screw will go through. And I'm going to use a special drill bit called a VIX bit. And what that does is it centers the drill bit into the hole, and then the drill bit comes out, and that will go through the aluminum and be exactly in the center of the hole that I just pre-drilled. Okay, so I'm back upstairs and now I'm going to attach the side of the frame to the painting. And I'll put it in position with a squeeze clamp to help it stay right where I want it. Okay, now that I have it right where I want it, I'm going to take that same bit, that same VIX bit, and I'll drill through the hole that's pre-drilled. But I'll only go in about a quarter of an inch, just enough to get the screw started. Because the drill bit is a little bit heavier than a sixteenth, if I were to drill all the way through, there wouldn't be enough material for my screw to catch. And essentially I would strip the side of the frame where I have the hole. last piece, this piece is, this paint is done now. The only thing I have to do is put a wire on it and it's ready to be picked up.